Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Nobody Wants to Die. Now, we get to figure out... This is a strange city. How do they build all this stuff? I'd be terrified. But then I guess, if they die, they just... They just come back, so... One of the most expensive restaurants in the city. And the tiniest fucking servings I've ever seen in my life. Pitiful. That's so strange. They look so strange down there. Like little ants. The opera. And take away the singing and the shitter break in the middle, and all you got left is your average daytime soap. I think that's true. Old Zed. Man's a classic. True professional. He'll fix any machine you bring him. As long as you're not picky about where the parts come from. Where's the sun? How high up does this city go? Starless night. No surprise there. This much air pollution. Every night starless. I mean, we did see that one or several buildings go above the clouds, so. Oh, fucking disgusting. At night, they ventilate the ground floor plants. They say it's necessary. Necessary to dump even more pollution into the air. Fuckers. Alright, let's get in the car. I'm surprised they still call them cars in the future. All this risk for a fucking piece of plastic. Can't even tell what it's for. This looks like some fancy Star Wars card. Acid rain? Ambient pollution density is increasing by 2% each year. This translates into need for more frequent decontamination, as well as a general decrease in bodily endurance. Reduce your exhaust emissions in the name... In the same of the... Is that same or name? In the same of the common good. Read that for me. In the name. Dude, I could have swore that was an S before. That also- Okay, I see the N now, but I also still see the S. It's crazy how that changes. It's fucking weird. If I see the N, I'm like, yeah, that's an N. But if I see the S, I'm like, yeah, that's an S. But the S is on, like, emissions and whatnot. Like, if you compare the N and the S on emissions they look incredibly different but just looking at name it also looks like same the stupid font fuck you fucking rich even the dead can take someone off a case feel his breath on my neck we don't have a moment to lose we must bite complete the plan okay i just want to make sure that said bite and not something else nice where's my gun uh Let's make sure it's there. Just you and me. I suppose I could have borrowed something from Icarus. Oh well. Too late now. No. We're gonna win this without drugs and alcohol. <laughs> Gross. Dude, he looks like the villain. How do I start this bitch? Oh, for fuck's sake. Check engine again. Just had it in the shop last week. <sighs> Fuck it. I know where to go. Get out of Zed's hide later. Do I need to take a drink? Controversial law with no veto. Okay. Uh. Not too sure what you want from me. Is there something I missed? Oh, 
whoop, 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 whoop. Maybe I do need a drink. I don't know. The stubbornest, most talented bastard I've ever known. Coach TH, 2231. Maybe I need a drink. It, fuck it, I guess we got a drink. I'm gonna drink some water. The Icarus disaster oh. is shaken this Okay. Time. Now a new fact has come to light, which will bring you live in just a moment in an exclusive special report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. So this was an illusion of choice. Okay. I understand now, game. Hello? Hi, Sarah. You listening to the radio? Relax. I'm this is so pilot. bright. You or the car? <sighs> Did you hear? Icarus is already in the news. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. Maybe they'll finally get around to doing something about it. Hopefully. I mean, I know we can't get involved, but someone needs to tell them enough is enough. Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I, I probably wouldn't be here. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. Politicians aren't people, they're assholes. That's right. People's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Cool off. They're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing? Are there any moral boundaries left? Boundaries still exist. We may not cross them. Some people are just evil and don't try to understand them. Why? Because they're bastards, and only other bastards can understand them. Okay, hang on, Mr. Pessimism. Did you just admit there are good people in the world, and they include us? We may not be the best, but yeah, until we screw up. <laughs> okay, that sounds more like you. I'm starting to worry. You know, I didn't think it was possible, but looks like we're on the same page. James, can I ask you something personal? Uh, yeah. Sure. Do you believe in life after death? The real one? I thought I was the drunk one here. Well, apparently in the past, people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Because the average lifespan was less than a hundred years. And now? Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. Ooh. Uh. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna say two because it mentions Rachel. Sure I do. Rachel believed it too. I'm sorry. I forgot. I overspent. Relax. What if you could choose the bank or death? Oh, shit. Oh. I don't know. That's tough. I feel like this man probably would want to die. But I also feel like there, if there's a chance in going to the bank, coming back to try to make a difference each time, but... I mean, I, 
I kind of see the conundrum, especially with the the murder. Ah, uh, I'm gonna say death. Keep sitting at his car like this. He's gonna. Bloody hell, James! James, what's going on? See, I wonder if this is all affecting the story, like it says it is. Like every little thing, you know. I don't know. So I shouldn't be taking the medicine? Is it, are we doing drugs? Yes. Whole list of shitty side effects. Those damn shivers. You know what's funny? I get the worst shakes in the toilet. Well, that might be where the last guy I like to shoot up. Part of that may be conditioning. Memory imprinted on the shell. When the body gets certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? Yeah, yeah. I'm an exemplary citizen. It's important that you do it. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. I can handle it. What are the weirdest synchro issues you've heard of? I only know cases from police files, and they're not very amusing. I heard about a guy whose senses swapped places. Extreme synesthesia. He heard colors, tasted sounds, and reacted to smells like he could physically touch them. I know what synesthesia is. He was doing fine until he died in a garbage truck accident one morning. Whoa. Did it hit him? No. He was standing next to it. The smells killed him. Well, as for your issues, how did the last Icarite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or... Did you feel something along the way? Apparently, you're unaware during the transfer, but I can't remember the burning and itching all over my body. I thought I was going crazy. Seth, my partner, said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off of a cliff every time he changed bodies. That's probably not. after I fucked up half the city with a train. Two weeks ago? Maybe you heard about it. I have his data. James Cara, badge number 984. He's Department of Mortality, but not active in the system. Holy shit. It really is that psycho from the train. One last time. What are you doing here Middle of the night. Can't you see? I'm drinking because I have a rotten job. Shit. James, there's a bolo from the car from Icarus. Hey, check that out. How'd your vehicle get those marks? Good question. Kid he was already like this when I picked it up at the workshop. Got it from Zed. You guys know him? Bastard gave me a voucher for a car wash. Good luck finding one open at this hour. Shit! Polo for a 99 Bluebird! Hands in the air! Don't move! Tow the car right now! Gave the James, you stupid cunt! 
Hunt, will you just shut the fuck up? You're making it worse. We're placing you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Attention all nearby units. Burglary in process. All right. Almost got us. Did it work? Did they take the bait? Bait? Did you call in a fake burglary? Uh-huh. It was all I could think of. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thanks for saving my ass. One thing, though, cunt? Seriously? <laughs> I panicked. I liked it. It was tasteful. But we should get in the fucking car. <laughs> Why are we sitting back down? <sighs> okay, James. I'm no expert, but... <laughs> Who are we trying to... ...seems to be telling you to go home. Yes. I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. Uh, wait. We still have to talk about the investigation. There are a few things that bother me. <sighs> well, keep it short. Hmm. Kovalev is central to both cases. We need to figure out his motive. Hmm. If you look at the pieces of the puzzle carefully, there's something about everyone that doesn't fit, right? Exactly. I think I know what it is. It's paranoia. You know the saying the sleep of reason produces monsters? Put down the vodka and rest. It'll pass. You are my liaison. Don't talk to me like that. Then call me during business hours, not in the middle of the night. And drunk as fuck, too. Shit. I just wanted to talk a little, that's all. You want me to... What do you want me to do here? No. Whoa! Well, this is nice! Why can't more of the game be this? Is that hair? Was that hair? Or is that like the, uh, the stuff in the brain, you know, that Making stuff. Sarah for a drunken call was as healthy as my usual cigarette dinner. But I needed this conversation. And something told me she needed it too. Anyway, it was a nice contrast with all these conversations that leave me hung over even when I don't drink. They don't have autopilot in the future. Oh. I guess they Where's it going? Seems like the whole city's turning to dust and I still feel the festive atmosphere. 
atmosphere. We gather around the fire, sing songs, argue about politics. Thanks to the charade, you lie to yourself for another year that your life matters. Shit. I have to go home. We are. Aren't we? Also, I need to see if there's a way to turn up... Okay, I turned the music down a bit. I was hoping the voices would be a bit louder. Um... See if that balances out. Two down, two down, two up. of the shell is alarmingly above all norms. Okay. I know. I know. The synchronization test will take place soon. Please do not leave the apartment for the next 24 hours. Jesus. Fuck. Isn't this the bathroom? It is. already know who the murderer is? How did I? Hey, doesn't the hero die at the end? Yes, but he's trying. And when will you cuff me? You want me to cuff you? Don't you want to? If I don't get up from this couch and grab my drugs, I'll die. Drugs should be in the kitchen or the restroom. Maybe upstairs. There's not much of an upstairs. Damn, empty. I think I have an I won't get rid of this hologram unless you Whoa, what? I didn't think she'd just disappear like that. Let me go up there and look. one either what? in ancient cultures the moirai were an allegory of destiny they represented the brutal laws that governed the world and only exceptional mortals could gently influence them no that sounds weak okay this is a trick to prevent me from taking my drugs Smile a little, just a little bit. Where's my drugs? Should I also decontaminate? module when I started the service the guys didn't believe she was my wife even when I brought this photo they said it was photo montage a sound mind and a sound body I've forgotten what that's like I 
bet every one of those guys has a new body by now. Probably wouldn't recognize each other on the street. Logs. James, Kara, welcome back. I'm starting the synchro test. Please take a deep breath and imagine a safe space. Feel the ground under your feet. Excellent. Whoa. Very literally, but perfect. Please select a seat. This one seems more comfortable. Our own death is a difficult experience that we naturally repress from consciousness. In order to enable smooth functioning in the new body, we need to remember the last moments of our lives and... And together face the trauma of the last death. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Before we get to the point, please recall the first death. It was just an injury. I just changed my body. My old shell went to the Hall of Fame. It looks pretty good there. Please start calibration process. Oh, you want me to get up off of my nice, comfortable seat? Okay. What's going on? What am I doing? successful thank you let's go to the memories it's time to confront them proceed to the next stage the key to synchronization is the ability to put the past into perspective please try to do this you are at the peak of your abilities and your career have you thought about buying a Synchro Plus program? Thanks. I can't afford it. No worries. Common tests work just as well. Please, continue. in life? I had no choice. I didn't synchronize with the new shell like I did with my original. Positive rate threshold is 80%. Maybe for you. In sports, a fraction of every percent counts. Excellent. You found a new purpose in life. Finding yourself in a new reality is a huge challenge. Turns out I have a knack for this job. Do you miss your job? You don't even realize. Let's move on to the last death event. that the complexity of the trauma will not allow us to continue. I can handle it. Synchronization is a process, not an act. Try to isolate minor events using all your senses, or stop and extend the recovery period. No. I, uh, I'll remember. I, I'll get it from my memory. Some shine, grease, Burn and... Excellent. Um, seriously? I 
got a chance to hit it. But my gun jammed. Even though I cleaned it the day before. Who did you want to hit? All I, I remember is... We were on a mission. Me and Seth. I think it derailed the train. My ears were ringing, and... Fuck! I don't remember. What about Seth and the one you were chasing? Can you focus on them? Um, I'll try. James, do you blame yourself for what happened to him? We got a lousy job. He knew the risks. And I was his partner. He relied on me. This is really cool. When do I get a chance to pass the damn test? I won't let this go. I can't. I'll finish it. And I'll be back where I belong. Attention. Dynamic element detected. James, it's dangerous. It could be projection, not recollection. What projections? This is my fucking window. That day, I'm staying home. Your mental state is very strained and you need time to recuperate. How long until I'm back to work? From nine to twelve months. Estimates may change. Fuck! Sarah, I fucked up. I don't know how to say this, but I think I'm admitting guilt. What happened? Is everything all right? What have you done? I just I can't do anything. I have no chance to go back. James. No. I'll finish the case. I won't leave it like this, but I won't drag you down with me. I'm sorry for earlier. I'll cover all traces. I can't drag everyone down all the time. We didn't deserve it. Phew. Wow, that's very kind of you. Excuse me? You're such a drama queen sometimes. What did you think? I'd leave it like that? I'll leave you with it? I have a few leads to discuss. Really? You think you're the only person in this town who wants to know what's going on? Let's get busy then. What am I doing? Where... Where would you like me to go? To bed? To the board? This is the board. Oh. It is. <laughs> okay. Cool. Where do we start? Since the Zeppelin crashing into the building right after Green's death is more than just a lucky break. Lucky? For us. Definitely not for them. You know exactly what I mean. 
Let's start with the connection between the green case and the Icarus shooting. Okay. The green's case and the shootout uh, have in common. The guy, right? The person. It was James Selma, right? The famous psychologist back in the circle of suspects. Uh, more on the periphery. Is there another item or, like, thing that mentions her? Miller? Technical plans, Agent Dean, body acts, fucking Demer. Uh, toxicology, uh, the serpent symbol as well. Snake again. It looks fresh this time. Probably made on the day of the massacre. But, let's say her for now. We have thousands God of damn it. Uh, okay. Well, pretty much any other evidence. Any other? Really? You know exactly what I mean. Now, the serpent was there too? What's this? Unlucky Jane? What the fuck is this? Where the fuck did Unlucky Jane come from? What is that? What? Was Miller there too? Did that only pop up when I put this down? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, what about the serpent? Only the date on Green's tree was carved long ago. The one on the safe was done yesterday. Sarah, they must mean something. Okay. The symbol on the tree is safe, and again the date. Once fresh, dealing was created a long time ago. What's the connection? Uh... <laughs> What is... The serpent was, like... There's an actual thing for it, right? Kind of like how Hestia, the robot, was like a goddess or something. Wasn't the serpent the snake eating its own tail? Ah, fuck. I can't remember what it was. Uh... Drawing to electrical installation of a building? Could that building have been something? Shit. Too many copper phase conductors with polyvinyl insulation. Uh what? <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Agent Dean. Uh lower the age of free body subscription and series of additional fees. Um uh, wasn't the other guy related to this somehow? Their plans will take a while longer. Toxicology. Uh, Demer. He was a friend of Green's. To the crisp. <laughs> was that laughter? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Travis Collette. Uh, Green's building. You've identified him. Great. Yeah, it's a developer named Travis Collette. Travis Collette? Bonjour, Travis. Travis Collette. Travis Collette. James. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to assume the connections. Uh, first off, let's say the plans for the building? No. Okay, what about the body acts? No. Demer? No. God damn it. Travis Gullet. No, fuck.
So the watch with a photo wasn't evidence of a friendly quarrel between Kovalev and Green? They were obviously very close. Okay. Uh, Kovalev carried out the last will of a friend who went to his final death. Did he bid the world farewell himself? Is that what the symbol and the date mean? Was the toxicology of the rest clean? Well, I wouldn't say that, but it was normal for this social class. Hmm. Sarah, you have access to the CTC registers. Just checked. Kovalev Zikarite never made it there, which means that this is another... This is another final death. They both left this world, and they left behind quite a mess. Do you think they managed to carry out the plan from Green's letter? All we know is they gave their lives for it. Could anyone here know Green and Kovalev were up to something? Damned good question. Let's check. Way ahead of you. Oh, that's literally what she just said. Okay, uh... Green's building, but wasn't there someone else? Salma again. She might have known Fuck. something. Would Kovalev have let her go then? She could pull strings. All the more reason for Kovalev to take her down, right? Right. I'm sorry. Maybe Travis. Never mind. Not Travis. Fuck Travis. Fucking gamer. <laughs> On one hand, he was just a pawn. You mixing game metaphors? Hey, people say that. Uh, never mind. You're right. I still don't know how he encrypted the Icarite. Why do something like that? To avoid answers when your corpse turns up in an inconvenient situation. Despite what we saw in the Icarus reconstruction, Phalanx really does have quite a rep. Chief's errand boy. I wonder how big his stable was. As the Chief's trusted man, he must have known about Green's death. Just what was he looking for here? Sarah, can you check what building this is? How am I supposed to do that? This is just a small section. I need more to work with here. Which building? Uh, da, 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 da. for Green's apartment from Colette. And Colette didn't know about Green's death. And that order not to board Icarus. You think Dean was following the Chief's orders? We can't rule out that Dean was working for someone else. Like who? And what the hell do Green's plans have to do with it? Let's focus on the second question. Do you think we missed something at Green's? Everything points to that. As long as everyone's focused on the riot now, the apartment should be empty. Great. Let's finish what we started. Diagnostics complete. Repair cost and fine, $938. Ah, oh, fuck you. And don't wait for me with dinner. Late. All right. In the mouth of madness, don't man. fall into fuck. madness. Was that an option? Sarah may have been only a voice in my earpiece, but it was a voice of integrity and reason, which was what I needed at times, and which could be switched off at other times, and unlike other such voices, without grabbing a bottle.
Right. James, should I send you a sleeping bag? Get a move on. Turn that would on the be camera. nice. Stand back. The Fed secured the entrance. Could you? I'm on it. You get excited when you do something illegal. I'm in rehab, so don't tempt me. I'd like to see your file. <laughs> I erased it. Good luck with that. I have my ways. Ready. Okay, well, on that note, I'm going to wrap this one up. Because if we're investigating, it's going to take about 30, 40 minutes. And <laughs> we can do that in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.